Welcome to your new FOM330 oil monitor from Clip Springer. The purpose of this instrument is to help you know when to change the oil in your fryers. Put simply, it gives you a digital measurement so you know exactly when the oil needs changing, as opposed to the very subjective test of visual checks or paper test strips. Not only is this necessary for safe food, it also helps you achieve consistency from day to day and from location to location. It normally works best to check your oil quality at the end of a day's trading. The oil must have rested for at least 15 minutes since the last batch was cooked and be between 150 and 180 degrees Celsius. When your fryers are ready for the measurement to be taken, take the FOM330 food oil monitor from the monitoring station mounted on the wall. Put your hand through the strap to get a firm grip and press the on-off button. Then place the oil monitor sensor into the fryer. Make sure the sensor is fully submerged in the oil using the max min lines on the stem. Gently move the sensor round in the oil in a swirling motion. Continue this for 30 to 60 seconds. Note, if this is the first fryer to test, the sensor may take a few seconds longer to stabilize. The measurement has finished when the light on the top of the FOM330 starts flashing. The top measurement on the display will also have stabilized. If it flashes green, your oil quality is fine and can be used again. If it flashes yellow, it means your oil is getting old and will need changing soon. Think whether you will be able to get another day's use out of the oil, or does the oil need changing now? If it's red, the oil should already have been changed, so change it immediately. The monitor will also show the oil temperature. It's important to ensure that your fryer is operating at the correct temperature. Finally, you need to remove the sensor from the fryer and gently pat it dry using soft tissue or cleaning cloth. Careful, the sensor will be hot. Also, take care not to scratch the sensor. This is the brains of the instrument and needs looking after. Record the results on your designated system. This may be on your tablet or hard copy using pen and paper. Repeat this process for each fryer that needs measuring. Once done, carefully pat the sensor dry and return to the instrument station ready for next time.